In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an affiliate marketing funnel, also known as a breach page. Coming up. All right, so I've spoken about this concept in a few videos before. Now, just to recap, what a bridge page does is it captures the information before the person buys the product that you're recommending. Now, the advantages of this is when you want to promote even further products that are related to that, it's now easier because you have a database of people that love that particular product. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to set up the, uh, the email system and we're also going to set up the breach page. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you step by step how to do this. All right, so over here now, I am in my WordPress admin dashboard. The very first thing we need to do is to set up your form and also your list. Now, this can be done using either MailChimp, ConvertKit, there are a lot of all these uh, software, I mean, email marketing programs are able to achieve this. I'm using MailPoet because it has a fantastic offer right now on AppSumo. It has a lifetime deal, 5,000 emails on each website, unlimited. So that's a fantastic deal. I would recommend that you go and check it out. The information to that is in the video description below. All right, so what we're gonna do now is to create a list. So I'm gonna come over here to lists. Now creating a list is very, very straightforward. All you have to do is to uh, come over here, click on add new, give it a name and save it. Okay, so I've already gone uh, ahead and done that. Here it is, it's called Divi Promo. Now you want to connect this list with a form. So the next step is to come over here to forms and this is where you want to create a form. And again, creating a form is very easy. You wanna click here on add new and then you just give the form a name. And as you can see here, I've named this Divi Promotion. So this is our form. Now, here's the thing. You want to connect these two together. So what we're going to do now is to create a landing page, which is going to have these components linked to promotion. So the next step now is to come over here to pretty link. So this is where I have my affiliate link. So this is my affiliate link. In fact, let me go in so you can see it. So this is the link that you get from the company that you're promoting the products. So you wanna copy this or you can copy the pretty link that you've made. Now I know I'm using pretty link here and it may be very confusing. In your case, go to the product that you're promoting. So let's say for example, this is Elegant Themes you're promoting. You log into your affiliate control panel, you get that link and this is the link that we're going to use here. So back over here now, uh, I have my link. So I'm gonna come back over here to pages, click on all pages. Now. I need to either create a brand new page or you want to create a uh, use a page that you already have on your system. So what I'm gonna do here to make things easier for you guys is to just create a brand new page. So here I've just clicked on add new. So I'm just gonna close this because yeah, I wanna use Divi for this. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna give this page a name. So I'm gonna call this Divi bonus. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi builder. Let's build from scratch. So I'm gonna start off with a column here search for my text module. I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna save this for now. Add another one. So this time it's gonna be a two column structure. And again, I'm gonna have a text module here. I'm gonna save that over here on the right. I'm going to have a video module. Now you don't really have to have a video and I'm going to explain this in a moment why you may want to have a video. Okay, right, so I've added my modules here. So the first one here, let's go back in. So this one here is going to be our main heading. So let's just call this DV bonuses. And I'm going to make this a heading one and let's go and center it. So I'm gonna to go to my heading text here and center it. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Now over here, now this is where you want to explain what uh, the bonus is. So you could say here, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you get bonus A, bonus B, bonus D, whatever it is. Now, the reason why you wanna do that is because for anyone to uh, leave you their email, they have to gain something. They, you have to give them a reason to want to do that because people aren't going to part with their emails, you know, just like that. So here we are saying that if you buy Divi using our affiliate link, we are going to give them our bonuses. And in order for you to know where to send the bonus, you're going to need the email. So this is where we're going to uh, collect the uh, or capture the email address. And this video right here, you don't really have to have it, but you can also record a quick video where you can actually say what it is that you're going to offer them. So the reason why I prefer having a video here is when you have a video, people get to know who the person is that is promoting the product 
product itself and even getting someone speaking on camera is you know much better but as i mentioned you don't really have to have this and there isn't really a lot of stats out there that say if you have a video it converts more in fact sometimes the text one without the video actually converts really really well and i've also used both of them and i haven't seen a difference really in the two all right so the next step here is to add our opt-in form so i'm just going to search for email opt-in and there's a few adjustments that we need to do here first of all we need to get rid of this text headline and also the description and i'm going to come over here to design layout and i'm just going to make sure that um, i change this to body on top form on the bottom and then back over here, you also want to remove the email and last name because you don't want to collect those. So I'm just going to remove that. So all I have now is email and the subscribe button. So as you can see, this one here has a background. We may want to remove the background. So before we do that, I'm just going to come over here and click on this pencil icon and let's just adjust our form. So I'm just going to add a border around my form. So here are my border styles. I'm just going to make sure that this is about two pixels and i'm also going to adjust my color here and the color i'm just going to make it you know very light gray and we also want to customize our button here so i'm just going to click here on this pencil icon and then activate use custom styles for button so with that selected now i want to give this a background color so first of all we're going to give this a border and then we also want to give it a background color okay so that's looking great now um Next, I'm going to go back over here to content and we are going to get rid of the background like that. Okay, so all we have now is our text here and the space where they need to enter their email. Right, so the next step now is to come over here to success action. So what you want to do is when someone or when the person that wants to buy your product comes over here, leaves their email address and click on buy now. By the way, this needs to be uh, set to buy now. They need to be redirected to the actual promo page of that product. So this is where now we are going to come over here and change this to a redirect URL. So we want them to go directly to the product. So this is my affiliate link. So as soon as they click buy now here, they are going to be taken to the affiliate page. Okay, so once, uh, once we've done that, pretty much that's good to go. Now, the next step is to come over here to the email account. So this is where you want to map your email autoresponder to this form. So, as you can see, DV supports quite a lot here. So the one that we want is MailPoet. But as you can see, there's MailChimp. There's, you know, quite a lot there. Anyway, so if I click here on this drop down, I can uh, now choose my form. And I know my form is not showing here. I don't know why. So what I normally do here is I'm just going to say add my account. I'm going to hit submit. So on this drop down now, you can see I have my Divi promo. Now this is the list that people are going to be added to when they sign up for this, uh, this product. So I'm gonna click here on add. Uh, we can give this an account name. So again, I'm just gonna call this uh, Divi promo. Okay, so I have my list here. So everything is all set. I can now save and let's save this one more time. Now, since this is a bridge page, ideally what you want to do is to remove the header and the footer. So let's go over here to edit page and over here, I'm going to go to page attributes and then I'm just going to choose blank page, click on update and let's do a view page. There we go. So this now is our bridge page. So as you can see here on the top, this says DV bonus. So let me explain this one more time. So when you promote your products, we want them to come to this bridge page before they go to buy to purchase the product. The reason why we want to do that is because we want to capture the emails so that we can sell a related product in the future. And this is how you're building your mailing list. So Let's test this and see if this is working now. So let's say um, the visitor lands on this page. I'm going to add my email address and my email address here is going to be, let's say at yahoo.com. And then I'm just going to click here and this needs to say buy now, of course. So if I do that, so I'm pretending now that I am buying this product. So I get here. So the visitor gets here on this page and they buy Divi or whatever product it is that you're promoting. And once they buy it, you get the credit and you also have the name of that person now added onto the list. 
Now let's check it out. So I'm just gonna go back and let's go to our dashboard here. So what I'm gonna do is to go to Mail Poet and I'm gonna go to subscribers and there we go. So this is the name that we have. So as you can see, my name here now or my email address has been added onto my list. And now in the future, I can go in and promote other products that are related to Divi to that list. And this is how you make more money with affiliate marketing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you using a breach page for your email marketing? If you are, let me know how you're applying this in your promotions. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.